Interpretive Dance Week. Best wishes from, best wishes from, best wishes from. <laughs> ILS, it's Monday, and it's Interpretive Dance Week. When we first came up with this idea, with this theme, we didn't really know what our dance should be about, what it should say, you know. But then we thought, we're seven girls, we like Harry Potter. There are seven Harry Potter books, so two plus two equals one, and yeah. So I composed a dance for the first Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, and I have to say it turned out really good. It will be the best thing you have ever witnessed. And if you don't think you'll be able to handle this, it's best to just stop this video right now. Just don't be ashamed, it's really understandable because not everyone can cope with this level of dancing. It's just it's so intense. The whole piece I composed is a few days long and since we have this time limit, yeah. And I try to shorten it down to a few minutes, but really the piece just can't be shortened down. It's just, no, that would be insane. It really wouldn't do the piece justice. Um, so I decided I'd just take a couple of scenes, a few of my favorites, you know, and I'm going to add some annotations for those of you who are not familiar with this level of art so that everyone will be able to understand. Because really, I just want everyone to be able to enjoy it to the fullest because it's just a masterpiece, I'm telling you. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but it's just... Okay, so now that was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> mm. I can't wait what you girls are going to do. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lisette, I will see you tomorrow and as always, best wishes. This is going up on your job. I'm embarrassed.